Good morning. Welcome back. We are with Patty Spittler from Pet Pals TV, and you brought a special guest, Lindsay, and yes. her newly homed <laughs> friends. Good morning, These guys. Senior sweethearts, because they're older, they're about 10 years old, former racers. They came up from Florida, yeah. and you're going to tell us they've, they've had extra special challenges because they lost their home. Yes, they... Um, these guys lost their home in Hurricane Irma. Aww. Their um, their owners had to surrender them because they had to move and weren't able to take the dogs with them. Uh, what so. a traumatic oh series of events for them. Yes. I mean, that's hard enough to lose a home and then you have uh -huh. to give up your yeah. your family members as well. Yes. So uh, you've only had them with you for a week. One week, yes. <laughs> and we're all surviving. We're all making it. Oh, so. That's, so sweet. that's wonderful. Tell us some of the special challenges. Tell Drew about, for instance, Greyhounds that have been racers, they don't know how to go up and down steps. Mm -hmm. they, they may run into a glass door because they don't, they, so they really need to be taught how to be pets. Yes, yeah, um, there are some special challenges with greyhounds. Um, one thing is they always have to be on a leash, so they I'll can't run. ever, yeah, they'll just dart and off. And so fast. Yeah, they're <laughs> yeah. so fast and you just won't see them again. Sure. <laughs> so um, they always have to be on a leash unless they're in a fully fenced in yard. Something else to be mindful of is that they don't have any body fat. Um, oh, no. They're very thin so skinned. Lean, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> when they're outside in the winter, they have to be, they have to wear coats and everything oh, sure. like that. Yeah. So um, they're more of a kind of sensitive dog, so they don't love you know, a lot of rough house yeah. play, stuff like They're that. So docile. Every time I've been around one, I yes. just I can't get over how sweet they are. They're so calm, and these guys are like cats. They <laughs> they sleep all day long. <laughs> um, this really, and I'm. This is just my own personal observations. I don't know this to be the case, but it's one of the first breeds that I knew of a specific rescues because of their their racing history and a lot of the you know retired greyhounds then become available. That's you start seeing them in pet stores the rescues come in mm -hmm. years ago and I you see it more and more now yeah. but that was the one that I was first yeah. really aware of as a breed, breed specific breed rescue specific. have you had greyhounds before this is my first pair so we're all brand new to this what attracted <laughs> you to this um, so actually I had a neighbor and she I would see her walking hers and I was like oh that's such a well-behaved dog mm -hmm. and they're so neat looking no and no they don't bark very much wow. and yeah so. you guys come hang out with Baden let's oh. teach him a few things <laughs> <laughs> I got a puppy at home oh, that yeah. can learn a few things <laughs> that's the nice thing about having a senior is you yeah. don't have to do all yeah. the puppy stuff sure so and and a lot of times these are the prisongreyhounds.org if you'd like some more information, mm -hmm. uh, um, Mary Loden is the uh, administrator of that. They take a lot of these into the prison, the prisoners who want to help mm -hmm. and teach them how to be pets. So prisongreyhounds.org. Okay. It's a wonderful it's organization. Yes. And we'll see much more today on Pet, Pet Pals, Pals TV, TV right after daybreak at 10 o'clock, followed by Great Day TV. And if you missed, <laughs> Randy Ola is talking about his special challenge. That's re airing today. That's at 10 30, the wonderful. Encore with Randy and Beating Cancer. What a guy he is. Oh, he, he is. Yes. All right. Speaking of what a guy, we're going to send it to Marcus. Oh.